I am unworthy of all the kindness and faithfulness you have shown your servant. Indeed, for Jacob's sake, God went extra miles. God did this much for Jacob, as indeed, uh, indeed, as he said in the book of Malachi, God could say, I loved Jacob. Jacob later was changed into a spiritual person, God's covenant person, all because of God's marvelous grace and love upon his life. When you think about this passage carefully, we are really touched by God's amazing grace upon our life. We were not so strong like Jacob, yet we were not so inferior to Jacob either in our stubbornness, in our worldliness. You do not uh, uh, change our plan or desire only because our mom said or our dad said, just, it's my life. You would pursue what we desired. So while we were just concerned about our own desires and pursued our own dreams blindly, God had wrestled with us to change us into spiritual people. God has been wrestling with us so that we may stop pursuing worthless things of this world. God has been wrestling with us so that eventually we would surrender our life to God, accept His good and great plan for us, and live accordingly. How stubbornly! We have rejected him so many times. How rudely we have turned our backs to him. Yet, God had not given up on us. Instead, he continued his wrestling match with us, maybe through our family matter, or school matter, or job matter, or relationship matter. Then, when the right time came, God sent us his servants who had a physical wrestling match with us. Sometimes challenging us to repent. Sometimes correcting us. Sometimes praying for us all the way with tears. It is only because of God's marvelous grace upon us that he has not given up on us, but wrestled with us continually that today we live as God's covenant people. We live as God's children, enjoying God's grace and serving His will. Thanks to His patience and love for us, even we, maybe there are many good people, but not us. We were not good people, really. All because of his marvelous grace and love for us, his long patience, even we could be changed into, into spiritual people. Even we could let go of our own self-seeking desires and turn to God. That's how today we live as God's covenant people. Now we understand what God is doing. Jesus says, My Father is always at His work to this very day. So God is working. What is He doing? Yes, He is wrestling with people to break, him, break them down so that they would not pursue worthless things in this life blindly any longer. Instead, Realizing what life is really about, they would really stop pursuing those things, turn to God, accept His will upon their life, and live for Him as His covenant people. This is what God is doing. And in this, we shepherds and Bible teachers 
function as his hands and foot, wrestling, wrestling with God, those people on God's behalf. This is what God is doing. The God of Jacob is a wonderful, uh, wonderful God. Because of him and his wrestling match with us, once wayward people like us no longer live a cursed life of Jacob, but the blessed life of Isaac, uh, Israel. This is the God of Jacob, the God of Jambek, the God of you also.